In the last couple of months, there's been an emergence of AI literally everywhere. Things I never expected would ever need AI started using LLMs like GPT-3 on the website, who expected the worst web browser Edge to go from bad to less bad just with a couple of AI features. But that is not the only thing that changed. There are a bunch of opportunities that emerged from this revolution. Take all new AI startups from the year 2023, look under the hood, and you'll notice a very similar pattern, and that is OpenAI. They have arguably had the biggest impact on AI developments in the last three years or so, especially with ChatGPT. And if you haven't seen their new AI model called Sora, then here's a quick explanation. Sora is an AI model that can generate videos up to one minute long. And these minute long videos look absolutely stunning. Instead of trying to explain how good they are, here's a video it generated of a Japanese woman standing in a train. As you can see, it looks genuinely amazing. You can even make out the woman's reflection on the glass. I'm mentioning all these crazy good things like the AI revolution, but there's also a dark side to it. Not even considering social changes, such as using AI generated videos as evidence, AI is going to fundamentally change how we view the world and how it functions. Also, while I generally consider most critics of AI nowadays to be fanatics who think the world is going to end, they do have a point when they say the government will use it to their advantage for things such as mass surveillance. And just to make these people's nightmares a reality, in this video we're going to be building an experimental AGI that can control your computer. The end result would be something similar to AutoGPT, but without directly using the OpenAI API. Here's the basic outline of how it's gonna work. Once the user enters a goal, the built-in LLM will generate a JSON array of commands. After that, our system will execute every given command, and if there are errors, the bot will automatically adapt and run new commands based on the output. If the command is long, we can tell it to break it up into smaller pieces. Let's give it the task to create a calculator in PowerShell based on CLI arguments. If you want to produce accurate results, you have to detail it precisely on what the script should do, otherwise it'll just use some stupid placeholders. Once we press enter, you'll see the commands it created are written to a PowerShell script file called autoLLM.ps1, which we will run at the end of the commands generation. This happens every time, regardless of the task. Before I went with this approach, I actually tried running each command separately using the subprocess module in Python. However, the problem was that it used the CMD shell by default, and we want PowerShell. I also tried implementing workaround by adding the PowerShell to the beginning of every command, but that also didn't work out as it tried to accessing the environment variables without success. By absolute coincidence, this actually works. The hardest thing to implement was a prompt for ChatGPT, since we wanted JSON array of commands and not just some random text output. But I managed to tweak it that way so that it always returns a valid array without me even having to use regex. I still used regex in case if it just parsing it wasn't enough, but this has never happened yet. Now I know this isn't material for a billion dollar AI startup, but there will be crazy things you can look forward to in Fuji Drive, so go on and sign up to the waitlist on Fuji.codes and join my Discord server for updates. But let's be honest, you can't really feel the artificial intelligence yet, so I'm going to add the feature of an AI voice that explains the commands it generated. For this, let's use Edge TTS, which is genuinely amazing, way better than 11 Labs since it's also free. It's pretty easy to use as well, we just have to call the communicate method on this library and save it to an mp3 file. Let's test it. The first command creates a new file named CALCPS1. The second command sets the content of the CALCPS1 file to a script that performs basic arithmetic operations based on the arguments passed to it. The third command updates the content of the CALCPS1 file with the script created in the previous command. These commands affect your computer by creating a new file named CALCPS1 and populating it with a script that can perform arithmetic operations. The script can then be executed in PowerShell to perform calculations based on the specified operation and input numbers. If you're interested in the code, it's available on GitHub and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you know when I posted a new video, which is usually once a week. If you want to work with me, there's a Google form in the description and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.